In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix the issue where Razer Synapse failed to start on your Windows 11 computer. So if you're unable to open the Razer Synapse application, then there's actually a couple of things we can do to go and solve this issue. Now, the first step is just to come down to the taskbar in the bottom right hand side, and you want to right click on the Razer icon and select log in. Now, what you can do is try logging in to the Razer Synapse application, and you can check to see if it works from here. Now, if that's not working, then come over to the start menu, search for services and click on the services window. Now, scroll all the way down this list until you see the Razer services. So the ones that we're looking for is this Razer central service. Double click on this like so. Change the startup type to automatic and press apply and OK. Then double click on it again. Make sure the service status is set to running. So if it's not running, click on the start button like so. And then once again, go and press OK. And you basically want to do the same thing for all of your Razer services in this list. So I'm going to do the same for this Razer elevation service as well. Make sure the startup type is set to automatic automatic, press apply and OK, and make sure the service status is running. Now, if it's still not working, then what we can do is right click on the Razer central service and click on restart. You can also do the same for the Razer synapse if you see it in this list. Then we're going to close out of this window. And the next thing is you want to come over to your start menu and just search for Razer synapse, right click on the Razer application and click on open file location. Now, right click on the synapse file again click on open file location, and then you need to right click on this file, click on properties, click on compatibility, check this box next to compatibility mode and check the box next to run this program as an administrator and press apply and OK. You can now try double clicking on this file and checking to see if that opens up the application. Now, if that's still not working, then come back over to the start menu and search for run and click on the run icon. In the search box, type in percentage sign, local app data percentage sign and hit enter. Now from here, scroll down until you see the Razer folder and we're going to right click on the Razer folder, click on the trash icon to delete it. And if you get this message saying that it can't be deleted, that's because the Razer application is running in the background. So you'll just need to come over to your task manager and search for Razer in the top navigation here and make sure you've closed down any Razer applications. And once you've fully closed out of all of these Razer applications, you can then come back over to here to delete this folder. Now, once again, you can try opening back up the application and checking if that solved your issue. If it's still not working, the final solution is to come back over to the start menu, search for settings and click on the settings window. In the left hand side, select apps, click on installed apps, Use the search box to type in the word Razer, click on the three horizontal dots next to Razer Synapse and click on modify. Then from here, we can go in and repair the Razer Synapse application. So you can simply click on the repair button next to the app like so, and it's going to try and detect any issues with the application. Now, if that's still not working, you can just try uninstalling the application altogether. And then you can obviously head over to an internet browser and just type in Razer Synapse 4. Click on this top web result here, scroll down to the download now button to reinstall this to your computer. And that's it guys, let me know in the comments which solution worked for you and I'll see you with the next one.